my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Bing the zoo. Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madam Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> yeah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, gazelle, wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale or a shark? Oh, wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> What animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. <laughs> Tuck in, everyone! Hooray! <laughs> Mr Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. Bing, bong, bing! Bong, bing, bing! We're all going to the zoo! Bing, bong, bing! Bong, bing, bing! We're all going to the zoo! <laughs> 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Shadows. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit are playing Piggy in the middle. Cat Peppa. Cat Rebecca. George is the Piggy in the middle. <laughs> oh, George is trying to catch the ball's shadow. Silly George, that's not the ball, that's just its shadow. Look! When the ball moves, its shadow moves as well. You've got a shadow too, George. George is trying to walk away from his shadow. You can't walk away from your shadow. You need to run away from it. Peppa is trying to run away from her shadow. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. We're trying to run away from our shadows. No one can run away from their shadow. Oh. You need to use a scooter. Whee! Susie is trying to ride away from her shadow. See? But your shadow is still there. Oh! Hello, everyone. Here is Mr Elephant with Emily and Edmund. Hello. We're trying to run away from our shadows. You can never run away from your shadow. I know. We can't go fast enough. No, Susie. It's nothing to do with how fast you run. You see? My shadow is still underneath me. Run faster! Even if I run faster, my shadow keeps up with me. Daddy, your shadow is too big. It's slowing you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Emily. Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow like this. Oh. oh. I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Whose shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever! It must be a giant! <laughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look, our shadows are getting longer. Ooh! That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is Bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Peppa. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> yeah. My turn. Peppa has made a spider. My name is is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that, George? Dinosaur. Brrr. George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> Time to switch the lights out. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Good night, shadows. Good night, Shadows. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. This is 
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. George's new dinosaur. <laughs> George is playing with his favourite toy, Mr Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur. Mr Dinosaur is made of plastic. It is almost impossible to break him. <laughs> Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur in the bath. <laughs> At night time, George always takes Mr Dinosaur to bed with him. Dinosaur. George, Mr Dinosaur is broken. Oh. Mr Dinosaur does not have a tail anymore. <laughs> Poor George. You have had Mr Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr Fox's shop. Mr Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with dino roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh, what's this? A trumpet? <laughs> doesn't work. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's not a trumpet, Pepper. You found Mr Dinosaur's tail. Oh. Now Daddy Pig can mend him. I'll try. Hmm. I think it might be quite difficult to mend. Oh. Daddy Pig has mended Mr Dinosaur. Hooray! Oh, oh. I am a bit of an expert at mending things. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur, dinosaur. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> 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 Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy in the whole world. <laughs>
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Aquarium. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Dinner time, Goldie. Oh, Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Peppa. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! wow. <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no, it's too dinosaur -y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> <laughs> hello, Miss Rabbit. That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody! My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho! It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. <laughs> Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger any time she wants. <laughs> fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? This is my 
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Going boating. Peppa and her family have come to the lake to go boating. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! What sort of boats do you have, Miss Rabbit? I've got canoes. Ooh, let's have a canoe. Hmm, you have to paddle a canoe. That's hard work. I've got sailing boats. It's a bit tricky to sail a sailing boat. And I've got pedalos. They look nice and relaxing. Yes, they've got a big paddle wheel to make them go. Let's have a pedalo. <laughs> when I ring this bell... It's time to bring the boat back. Enjoy your boat trip. It's not moving. No. How do we start the engine? <laughs> You're the engine, Daddy Pig. You have to pedal. Oh, I see. Off we go, then. It's a bicycle on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Riding in a pedalo on a sunny lake. Daddy is the engine, I hope he doesn't break. <laughs> Here are Emily Elephant and her family. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We'd like a canoe, please. Certainly. The Elephant family like canoeing. Paddles ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Elephant. Elephant. Then let's go. Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit. It is Danny Dog and his dad, Captain Dog. We'd like a boat, please. Certainly. I have canoes, sailing boats or pedalos. I didn't sail the world and make my fortune to splash around in a pedalo. We'll take the sailing boat. Do you know how to work it? Do I know how to work it? I'm Captain Dog. Ruff. Come on, Danny. All aboard. Full sail. Aye, aye, Captain Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we're sailing. We're canoeing. We're peddling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, an island. We could go there for our picnic. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> the island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boat. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please. <laughs> Here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Come in, boats! One, two and three. Your time is up. One, two and three. That's us. Let's see who can get back first. We'll have a race. Yes! Pedal faster, Daddy. I'm not sure I can pedal much faster. Oh, Daddy Pig, I'll do the pedalling. Quick on, Mummy! This is quite hard work, isn't it? Aha! We'll be carried back by the wind, Danny. Oh. What is it? The wind has stopped. Without any wind, the sailing boat cannot go. We'll just have to wait for the wind to pick up again. How long will that take? I don't know. It could be weeks. Can't we use the engine? No, oh, you don't have engines on sailing boats, Danny. Oh. The sailing boat does have an engine. Full sail! <laughs> Emily and her family are in the lead. Pedal fast, the mummy! Oh. We're going to win the race! <laughs> Here come Danny and Captain Dog. Hooray! We win! <laughs> <laughs> that was exhausting. Next time we'll take a sailing boat. Yes. Sailing boats have engines on them. Daddy? See you later, Danny. I've decided to sail around the world again. But you said you were going to stay home. Oh, yes. I'm not a sailor anymore. But I do love boating on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves boating on the lake. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Thank you.
Measuring Pepper. There, Pepper. That's how tall you are. I'm taller than I was before. That's because you're growing up, Pepper. Now George's turn. <laughs> there, George. That's how tall you are. <laughs> I am taller than George. Oh. Don't worry, George. As you get older, you'll get taller. Yes, but I will always be taller than you, George, because I will always be older. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for playgroup. <laughs> Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall. So you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh, I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. It is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, While Peppa three, counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Found you, Gerald. <laughs> oh, you didn't find me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Or me. I always get fun because I'm so tall. Oh, it's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <coughs> Let's play ball. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Maybe I'll play later. Gerald Giraffe doesn't want to play because he is sad. To you, Danny. To you, Pedro. Catch, Peppa. Oh! The ball is stuck in the tree. I can't reach it. Let me have a go. No, it's too high. What can we do? Chop the tree down. No! no. I can get it with my trunk. Ugh. No, I can't. If Emily can't reach it with her trunk, then we'll never get our ball back. What can we do? Chop the tree down. No! no! If only there was somebody tall enough to reach our ball. Gerald! What? You can reach the ball because you're tall. I can try. <laughs> Gerald Giraffe has rescued the ball. <laughs> oh, I can see something else. There's an animal stuck in the tree. Is it a cat? No, I'm here. It is Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles! Tiddles! Here is Dr. Hamster, the vet. <gasps> you naughty tortoise. Who do I have to thank for rescuing my Tiddles? Gerald! <laughs> thank you, Gerald. My goodness, you are a tall lad. I'm a giraffe. Oh. But you're taller than Gerald, Dr Hamster. Yes, that's because I'm a hamster. Are hamsters always taller than giraffes? Um, I will be taller than Dr Hamster when I'm older. Yes. Grown-up giraffes tend to be taller than grown-up hamsters. Hello! Hello! Mummy and Daddy Giraffe have come to collect Gerald from Playgroup. Wow! You're as tall as the sky! That's because we're giraffes. And my Mummy and Daddy are very, very old. <laughs> 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 